The first thing we need to do when we're creating a web page is create a new file on the computer to save all of our data in. So uh, if you launch your code editor, which will be either Atom or Visual Studio's code, there should be something on the top left called file. And if you click new file, uh, it'll open a new blank uh, page for us to work on. Uh, you're also going to want to click file and save as. And then we're going to save this to our desktop or somewhere else easier, to, easy to find for you. And I'm going to save it as index.html. The index part isn't very important, but you have to use .html at the end of this or it won't work. That's how we tell Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox that we're using an HTML file. Once you've created the name, click Save. And it should look something like this. We've got our blank screen. So in HTML, we use these things called tags. And tags appear inside the uh, angle brackets. You might know them as the greater than or less than symbols. They look like this. So the very first tag in HTML is a tag to tell us that we're using HTML. It looks like this. And every tag has an opening part, this HTML part, and then also a closing part, which will be slash and then the name of the tag. So in this case, we have HTML and the closing tag slash HTML. In between here, we're going to put the HTML document, all the things that we want on the page. The first thing that we need on a page is the head. Inside of the head, we're going to put data about the page. So we're going to put things like the title of our web page with a tag called title. In between these two title tags, we can put the name that we want our web page to be. So for instance, I'll call this one clicker game. Another important part of a web page is the body. The head contains metadata about the website, things about the website. So the title, uh, the styles that we're using, things like that. We also need to have the body of the web page, which is what actually shows in this part of the web page. So to do that, we'll create a body tag. And we'll also have a closing body tag with the slash. And inside of the body tag, we'll put all the things that we want to appear on our web page. So one more tag we'll do real quick is the paragraph tag. It's just a P inside of the angle brackets and then a slash P at the end. Inside of here, we can put any text we want to appear on our web page. So I could put, this is my first website. To open an HTML document, you want to go to your file explorer and find wherever you saved this file on your computer. So I said save it to desktop. So if we look in desktop, you should see something called index and it should have the a little search, either a Google Chrome or an Internet Explorer or a Firefox icon next to it. Double clicking on this file should open it in your web browser. There we go. And that's the site we've built so far. This is my first site and we have a little bit of a paragraph here that says this is my first website. All right. So let's get into actually designing our game. So the very first thing we might want is to use a heading tag. So the heading tags are labeled H1 through H3. I'm going to make this one H1. So we start with H1 here, and then we have slash H1 on the other side. And then inside of here, we'll put the name or title of our website. So this is, I'll say, um, welcome to the clicker game. Now, if I save my file, you can save either by pressing file save or control and S at the same time and then reload your web page. And you'll see now I'm using the H1 tag, which is a heading, so it shows up very nice and big for me. I'll also want to have a little bit of an instruction to tell the users what to do when they get to my website. So we'll add a paragraph tag below this. And inside this paragraph tag, we will say, click the button to get a higher score. Again, if I save, Control S, and reload my web page, we see the text will appear right here. Let's add one more paragraph to keep track of our score. And reload to check that it worked. There it is. Let's also add one of our buttons to the page. Buttons are another piece of the structure we can add in HTML. And to create a button, we use the tag button. It has an opening part here and a closing part here. And inside of here, we'll put whatever text we want to appear on the button. So I will say, click me. And if we reload the page, we'll see I have a button now that says click me. Now, the button doesn't do anything yet because that's what JavaScript does. JavaScript will tell the button what to do. But for now, what's important is that we have the structure of our web page laid out. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to add some styles to this website so that we can change the color of the text as well as the color of the background and maybe center all of our items so they're not all over here to the left. Maybe we can move them all to the right a little bit.